Hey guys, so today we're gonna model a cake and blender. Hope you enjoy it. Let's firstly delete all the objects and then let's add a cube here. Now let's go to edit mode, select these four vertices and then press SX like that. Now let's select these four, press SX, yep. Now press A to select everything, and then SZ to scale it, like that. Now what we need to do is to add subdivision modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface and two levels of that. Now right click, shade smooth, and then back to edit mode, and let's add a few loop cuts. So one here with Ctrl R, R, sorry, um, here like that, then Ctrl R, one let's say here, and that's pretty much it. For one layer, let's add one more level of subdivision. Now let's model two more. Basically, uh, select Shift D to duplicate Z. Like that again, Shift D Z like that. And we have our cake. Now press into edit mode. Let's select uh, basically we need to select transparent view with Alt Z, then select these vertices, then shift D to duplicate, press right click on your mouse to leave it in place. Now P selection. To separate it, then deselect our transparent view. Let's add solidify modifier here. Let's move it above like that. Change offset to one. Let's select only rim and change thickness to something like that. Yeah, pretty good. Now let's quickly add a cherry on top, right? Add mesh UV sphere. Now into edit mode, GZ as GZ to put it somewhere here. And then front view, GY. Yeah, more or less. Now press slash to separate it in the view. Select these vertices. Select, well, actually vertex. Is it vertex? Let's press proportional editing, G. Now we need to change the scale of the brush like that. So G, Z and Somewhere here. Again, GZ, change the mouse like that. And again, deselect proportional editing, GZ like that. And we have our cherry object. Let's press Shade Smooth and let's add a subdivision surface, one level. Yeah, pretty cool. Now let's save. Now let's first of all set origin, origin to geometry. Now let's press right click, snap, cursor to select it. Wait, actually we need to select it. So select it, press right click, snap, cursor to select it, like that. And now the objects that we add will be 
edit mode as yeah they will be exactly centered there as and then this and then basically what we are trying to create is a stem s z and g z um so something like that now let's add a modifier subdivision surface two levels shade smooth and add a loop cut Control r to add one Control r to add the second one yeah pretty cool now let's add three more and you should scroll your mouse wheel for that now again s s z yeah that's better now let's turn on proportional editing alt z for transparent view and now let's press g y for something like that and then side view g x for something like that and i mean it should be more or less what we wanted maybe g y and then again g y or something like that yeah okay object more or less and then we just need to g z to move it again until it goes into our strawberry oh sorry cherry and now all we need to do is edit mode slash to separate it then let's just select these vertices and then scale it to something like that wait that's too much yeah that's more or less what i wanted i'm not too sure yeah okay and we have our cherry it's way too big so let's quickly scale it like that so g z i think that's more or less what i wanted also let's add one more loop cut here and then let's select these four yeah add something like that yeah that's more or less what i was going for let's move it a bit here yeah and now all we need to do is create the dripping icing like that so edit mode let's deselect solidify modifier now what we need to do is add a few loop cuts so scroll your mouse wheel again like that press and now so let's select edges here and then select this edge and then e z to extrude it like that and s like that and then same on the other side but maybe let's see where we can do that e z s e z like that s and then maybe here e z s mm -hmm. we'll deal with that later uh, pa, 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 pa. let's see maybe this one is it like that 
this. And now we need to do the back. Basically select these two, subdivide, select these two, subdivide, and then add drip EZ. Yes, that. Now all we need to do is change the way it looks here because when we add solidify it will show us that it looks not that good to be fair let's see what we can do so vertex select now press to select these and then maybe scale no let's not scale it let's gy to move them here then with these two GX, yeah, with this one X, that's better, GX. So basically let's do the bottom U and let's go from there. Mm -hmm. GX. GX. Yeah, so basically it should be okay. So GX cut GX. Mm -hmm. GX. Let's see how it looks with solidify. Yeah, that's better. So this one, GX, maybe like that. Yeah, now let's select everything with A and then just scale a bit. Yeah, something like that. And then probably, what else? It looks more or less fine. Just, you know, this corner, let's disable that, select transparent, view these two, G, Y, solidify selected, yeah. G, Y, no. Actually, that's all good, but what we need to select is these two and press GY, yeah, to make it into something like that. Yep, that's better. It's still not quite ideal here, I would say. So let's quickly change that. Let's just add one vertices and move it here, then another and move it here, and see whether that will get us somewhere. Why? Yeah, I mean, I think it's not quite ideal. But I'd say it's pretty much almost ideal. Maybe something like that. Yeah. It's pretty much what I was going for. Maybe change this one because I don't like how it drips here. Let's just do that like that. Yeah. That's more or less what I was going for. 